Hello everyone, today I proudly announce a new project with the name Brazil High Speed Rail Project. We want to propose a project to build a railway connecting San Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. My name is Jian Shu and I go, I'm going to give you the background information of the transportation system in Brazil. As we know, Brazil is one of the largest countries in the world, and it has road transportation networks. However, Brazil's car ownership is only 40%, and only 5% of the roads in Brazil are paved, so that the road transportation is not so efficient. Also, Brazil has navig navigable waterways, but this kind of transportation is um, much less efficient to meet the demand of the industrialized world. Brazil also has railway transportation system, which has traditional trains run on it. It has already the infrastructure available to build a high-speed railway. And the currently existing railway system has connecting the main cities in the east and south of Brazil. Mm, taking the railway connecting São Paulo and uh, Rio de Janeiro, for example, it has connecting two of the largest cities in the country, and it has 40 million residents, and it's also home to a large number of industries and uh, companies in Brazil, which is a big contributor to the city's GDP. The total length of the railway is 500 kilometers. If you want to take a traditional train or cars, it will take you five hours. But if you want to take a real speed rail if you want to take a high speed railway, it will only take one point five hours. Hello, my name is Guillermo and I will be talking to you about the objective. The objective of the high speed train project is to successfully integrate a convenient, efficient and well operated transportation system in Brazil. Currently, our preparation involves the research of current methods of transportation to analyze the possible benefits that a high-speed rail system can offer. The three main current methods of transportation are airplanes, boats, and buses. Airplanes are mostly used for business travel, boats are used for shipping goods for trade in and out of the country, and buses and cars as well as airplanes are used for tourism. Now the expected outcomes are a rise in safety due to more people taking the train, which will reduce the number of collisions on the road. Reducing the number of collisions will mean that it's a safer train, it's safer to take the train. Reduced emissions will also occur because the train is an electrical alternative to burning fossil fuels and eliminates greenhouse gases. Furthermore, by reducing the number of cars on the road again, it reduces the number of, of transport units needed per individual person. And finally, there's road de decongestion. As less buses and cars are used on the road, people will, not, will no longer lose valuable time in their daily commutes and have more efficient work days and more efficient days for anything that they need to accomplish. Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm here to talk about the SWOT analysis. Um, the current, the strength of the, this project, the current Brazilian domestic transit system needs improvement. The infrastructure is kind of falling apart. High Speed Rail Corps will be welcomed by the Brazilian Transport Ministry, which is currently looking for sustainable and resilient forms of transportation. And this would reduce, with more people traveling by train, it would reduce highway and airport repair costs. Now for the weaknesses. There be, there's no concrete, concrete evidence that a uh, high-speed railway would be successful and profitable in Brazil. There's, and the electric power supply in Brazil is uh, very um, fluctuating. It often uh, depends on the seasonal rain, yeah, but and uh, because yeah, most of the power is generated by hydroelectric dams, the geography of the region would re require extra infrastructure to be built, such as bridges and tunnels, because of mountains and water roads that need to be crossed. Uh, the opportunities: Rio de Janeiro is hosting two major world sporting events in the next four years. This would definitely be a reason to use on. Uh, High speed rail. <laughs> we'll spread business out from major cities and help Brazil establish itself as more world economic power. It'll also get rec worldwide recognition for developing a transit system that we can be depended upon for generations. The cost of implementing a high speed railway is astronomical. For example, the Japanese Shinkansen with a bullet train additions will cost about $38 billion uh, for just the additions. So they've already created the train. 
uh, and competition from Brazilian freight rail companies for passenger service is also going to be a threat. Right, thank you. <clears throat> All right. The last thing to consider, <clears throat> last thing to consider for, for this project, is the is the language barrier and the cultural barrier that we have uh, with Brazil. Uh, luckily, there are many courses offered at UIUC that can help bridge that gap. For example, one of them is intensive beginning in Portuguese, which will give a really strong um, introduction to the Portuguese language, and then the history of Brazil from 1808 and Luso Brazilian culture will allow us to have a really strong sense of their culture. The last thing that was recommended by uh, the CS department head, Stephen Herzog, was to study abroad. He recommends it, uh, he recommends it because it is, highly re is, uh, it is highly looked upon at, at, in applications and resumes. Uh, after talking to the study abroad of office, we found that the ACES bus um, Brazil program at Rio de Janeiro Rio de Janeiro would be the most ideal for uh, our project. Yeah, and hopefully will in the long term. So with that, I'd like to say thank you.